Fernando and Patrick and today we're at the Sunscreen Film Festival. I'm very excited. Thank you so much. Bye! started volunteering myself with the Gasparilla Film Festival and I just decided I wanted to help out here as well. Where can we find you on the internet? You can find me on the internet under Kathy Crowley on Instagram. Thanks so much for being here today. Goodbye. Thank you. David Cromer. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? Um, I'm a screener. My wife is really involved in the film industry as a screener and she works at other festivals. And I've been tagging along with her uh, over the years. And I've just recently, over the last few years, started to screen movies at the different festivals where my wife's been involved. So it allows me to see some interesting new films as well as to uh, get to have some fun and party. Where can we find you on the internet? Uh, nowhere. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. You're welcome. Bye. Thanks for coming. Hello, Patrick. Today I'm here with. Ben Daniele. I'm the uh, director of programming, co-director uh, for the Sunscreen Film Festival. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? I can. Um, I actually am responsible for picking the films and to uh, helping to uh, advertise. Uh, we've been here for two days setting up this incredible festival. It's been very busy and, you know, it's, uh, it's tricky uh, with coming at, at the tail end of COVID. Uh, because we got a lot more to think about, <laughs> like these masks that are on. But I'll tell you, it has been an unbelievable year. And uh, this night, this opening night, is going to be fantastic. What inspired you to start doing this? Ooh, that's a great question. Um, oh, man. My mom took me to movies when I was a kid. That was our thing. Man, let's go to the movie theater. Mom, can we go see a movie? I grew up watching movies in the 80s and 90s, early 2000s, and falling in love with the idea of being a cinematographer, a filmmaker. So uh, that is what impulsed me to be part of this. www.scatterbrothers.com. That's scatterbrothers.com. We are one of the sponsors here tonight. Um, and you can find out more about uh, what we're doing here, our involvement with sunscreen, and uh, how excited we are about this entire thing. Oh, we have a film. We have a film playing. We have The Island, which is playing. You've got to catch it. It's on Sunday. And... You've got to come to Sunday, 2.30, to the Q&A with John Hall from Universal Pictures. He's Ooh. a vice president. Unbelievable guy. So you got to come. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank Bye. you. How oh, wonderful. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Rebecca, hello. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing here today? Yeah, I'm 38 years old. I'm a full-time actor in Austria in the Tampa Bay region, and I've actually done work in Philadelphia and New York as well. What inspired you to get started? Uh, ever since I was a little girl, I've always been one of those kids that would just do anything and everything for attention. And when I went off to college here at the University of Tampa, my mom said, don't become a theater major. So I didn't do the business thing. But when I uh, turned 35, I was like, you know what, let's give this a full-time chance. You have this skill, you have voiceover acting experience, let's go ahead and make that come. Where can I find you on the internet? I'm sorry, what? Where can I find you on the internet? You can find me on Facebook at Voiceover Queen. Or on Instagram at Becky, B E C K Y, and Apple, the number one, four. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Joshua Bowen. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? Sure, I'm a filmmaker. I go to FSU and I'm here for two short films, Imitation and Mapna. Where can we find you on the internet? If you go to jbofilm.com, that's my website, full of all my short films. What inspired you to start doing this? Uh, it started when I was in third grade. Uh, I went into the TV anchoring program and I had a lot of fun, so I wanted to do it for the rest of my life. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Happy birthday. The Jedi Master. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? Absolutely. Just it's my first time that I'm just coming to see what uh, what is happening here. Just curious to see the uh, the excitement around the party, the people, meet people, uh, make connections, and see you know if one can get cast in something good around here. Where can we find you on the internet? Uh, at Instagram at underscore red eye L E D I. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Thank you. Have a great night. Can you tell me a little bit about the second one? We made a poem called Escape to the Cove. It's called The Cove here, but we changed the name. It's Escape to the Cove. 
It's released in the United States on May 10th. But we're screening Saturday and Sunday. Here at Saturday and Sunday. Where can we find you guys on the internet? Uh, we have an Instagram called Escape, the number two, the code. What inspired you guys when I started? We were bored. You know, there was a pandemic going on. It was May of last year we started writing and putting it all together. I thought, who can I make this with? Garrett, me and Garrett. So we started shooting each other as the script progressed and kept building and building off of that. But mainly that's what it was. We wanted to do something creative because there wasn't anything going on. We had a big heart there. So we had some way to put it about like that. Dave DeBoard. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? Sure. I'm on the board of the Sunscreen Film Festival and I'm the education director, so all the cool panels and workshops over the next three days you're going to see, um, I put those together. Where can I find you on the internet? Where can you find me on the internet? At Dave DeBoard. What inspired you to start doing this? I love storytelling. Storytelling is amazing. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Yes, I work for a hotel called Sedesta Simply Suites, and we work with a lot of the film crews when they are filming here locally. They stay with us at our hotel. Where can we find you on the internet? Under Sedesta Simply Suites, Clearwater. And I'm here because of my girlfriend, Wanda, and she's the hospitality. Where can we find you on the internet? You can find me on LinkedIn. Website, do it for the film.com. You can see some of the work I've done in producing and directing. Um, and then we also have their production company that we freelance with, SpicerProductions.com, that you can check out and see their work. Uh, SpicerProductionsLLC.com. Okay. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Uh, 
Agatha Das Salidas. Hi, Madeline. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? Of course. It is my ultimate honor to be here. I am actually chairwoman of the Sunscreen Film Festival Board of Directors, so I get to be behind the scenes and in front of the scenes. <laughs> Where can we find you on the internet? Ooh, um, my Instagram handle is at Agatha, A-G-A-T-H-E, D-A-S-K-A, Daska. What inspired you to start doing this? Uh, the love for the arts. And a special, special shout out to Tony Armour. His heart for this festival, for the art and the culture, really swayed me in as well. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. So, Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? Yeah. Well, actually, I have my documentary film, uh, Healing a Nation, that's actually uh, part of the festival. What inspired you to start doing this? It was literally, it was a dream from, you know, for, uh, I said, since I was probably in the seventh grade. So, this was a, a passion of mine and I wanted to continue doing it. Where can we find you on the internet? You can find me at Jean Rene Renville. On IG and on Facebook, so anywhere you type Johnny Renville, you'll be able to find me. I want to spell it for them too. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Oh, this is today I'm here with Chastity. Kiva. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Today? I'm here today. Well, I'm here to enjoy the 16th annual Sunscreen Film Festival. I've been to every one of them. So, Craven and Steve Spielberg at such like a young age, so I just kind of fell in love with you at like maybe like six years old. Thank you so much for being here today. Bye. Uh, Chris Coleman. Model Lexi. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Here today? Uh, I am a local photographer here, well, in Orlando, I guess. Uh, I've been shooting for about 20 years. I do a lot of independent movies also on the side. The fun. I uh, work with Disney. And I, I've done a lot of other projects like uh, runway shows and passengers. What inspired you to start doing this? My very first film festival, actually. Uh, first one I went to, they said they needed a photographer because there was nobody there to take pictures. So I picked up the camera and started going with it, and it never stopped. What can we find you on the internet? Studio CTV Photography. I'm Lexi, so I'm a model. I do fashion shows, short films, you know. A lot of things inspire me. I love networking, meeting new people, and getting to work with amazing people just like the ones here at this film festival. So I'm very excited, and it's been great talking to you. You can find me on my Instagram at shorty0128. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. Bye. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself and what you're doing here today? I'm a speaker about freelance, how you can land a Hollywood job anywhere. And I'm a filmmaker with a short uh, called Silent Notes, and it's playing at 1230 on Sunday. What is hard you guys to get started? Well, for me, I've always loved film, and I always just like to take a photo and make it into a whole story and help other people make their dreams come true through visual pictures. Well, for me, this is a second career, and I just enjoy storytelling, and I love the visuals, and so the together, filmmaking. Where can we find you guys on the internet? Well, you can find me on my YouTube channel at Jam Ford Visual on YouTube, and then also Jam Ford, where you can find my films. The best way to find me is through my short film on the internet, which is uh, Silent Notes Short Film. Director of Women of the West Bank. Can you tell me a little bit about 
Yes, um, I am a visual storyteller and a documentary filmmaker, and uh, I have a short documentary screening on Friday, which is Women of the West Bank. So I try to bridge cultural gaps and um, share more knowledge from around the world. What inspired you to start doing this? Um, I felt like I, my voice, in terms of what I'd seen, was um, not really shown on camera as much, and I really wanted to learn more about other cultures and enhance voices whenever I had the opportunity. Thank you so much for being here today. Goodbye. You, you're awesome.